Hi, my name is Lewis Myro, and this is my presentation on self-driving cars. So, self-driving cars are, um, they're not a recently new concept. They've actually been around since, like, the 1500s, when Leonardo da Vinci first developed a, a self-propelling car. Um, and the idea of self-driving devices has ranged from cars, torpedoes, rockets, and even airplanes. Um, however, the most recent development of a self-driving car was developed by a company named Tesla, and they named that project Tesla Autopilot. Um, Tesla's Autopilot was developed for hands-free control on mostly highways and freeways, and didn't have the software to go into cities, but it was a software-based uh, program. Um, it's still in its early stages, and Tesla hopes to improve on this software for the years to come. Um, so as far as self-driving cars' market viability, um, there's a strong predicted market for them in the future. Um, examples of some consumers could just be small businesses, any large corporation, uh, domestic and foreign governments, uh, various national and private militaries, and lastly, just individual consumers in foreign and domestic uh, markets. Um, some strengths for... Uh, the self-driving cars uh, market uh, lie in its consumer demographic. It's got a wide range of consumers that would be looking into something like that. Um, it improves transportation efficiency. It would cause fewer accidents and decrease traffic congestion. Um, there would also be increased highway capacity, lower fuel consumption, uh, ease of mind regarding parking, and just overall improved mobility for both the elderly, children, and disabled. Um, some weaknesses to self-driving cars is that there would be a lot of government restrictions and regulations and regarding driver driver and car safety. Um, there would also be city and rural, rural infrastructure changes um, regarding just how roads are built and how, every, how our transportation system works. And there would also be... Al algorithmic concerns regarding the software and just vehicle communication and privacy. Uh, the hardware for these uh, expensive cars would be it'd be quality hardware so it'd be come at a steep price for most. Um, looking for the short term there's a high demand and need for these types of vehicles. They're useful to individuals, corporations, and governments. Um, in the short term, the software and programming are still going to be in its early stages, still going to be a lot of prototypes out there that aren't officially built on yet, um, which would cause a variety of unknown problems and conflicts in the future. There's also low public awareness about self-driving cars, so that would be a major thing for uh, advertisement companies like ours to, to try and uh, focus and promote. There would also be a genuinely high distrust and caution regarding these new release cars because they are still newly in the making. Um, looking at the long term, there would be major traffic and infrastructure changes in cities and also rural areas. Um, there would also be, it also would in, impact uh, our economy regarding like trucking jobs, courier jobs, any other type of job regarding transportation. Um, yeah, it would just, it would definitely shape society in the long run. Um, competition. There are currently several car companies competing and developing software for self-driving cars. These car companies include Mercedes-Benz, General Motors, Continental Automotive Systems, IAV, Autolive Inc., Bush Nissan, Bosch and Nissan, Toyota Audi, and even Google. Um, many of these companies are based here in America, while others are based in foreign countries such as Japan, China, and Germany. Um, in the future, there's going to be a lot of comp competition regarding self-driving cars and the software that they use, which would open is a very expansive market for uh, any type of industry, or any type of industry players. Um, summary overall, I believe that the self-driving cars market is a large and expansive one. There's a lot of opportunities for improvements, developments, and new innovations regarding self-driving cars. Um, it's going to be a very marketable product with tons of opportunities for advertisers like our company. And in my professional opinion, it would be very profitable for our company to move forward with the self-driving car advertising market. Um, 
many companies and corporations are willing to pay top dollar for increased market exposure and advertisement is a great uh, opportunity for our company to be exploring um, here are just some of the sites that I used as a reference and this is the end of my project I appreciate you all taking the time to listen to this thanks